my friends, Chase on Two Wheels here back at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell, Georgia. In front of me, I have the gorgeous 2023 Ducati Multistrada V2S. And today, we are going to go for a first ride on it. Y'all know I got a love affair with the Multistrada, so today is going to guarantee be a freaking awesome day. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's see what it looks like, and let's see what it sounds like. Alrighty guys, this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by WBRGarage.com, which is my website where I am building an R6 to give it away to one of the people that support the show. If you guys want to win a dope-ass R6 whenever we get done building it, just head over to WBRGarage.com or a link down in the description. You can either get a membership or you can get some merch. All of it will be automatically contabulated with the website, and when we get done with that motorcycle, you could win yourself a free one, unlike this $20,000 one in front of us. So... Uh, let's get the phone on the quad lock and let's get this video started. Uh, you can't really see it because of my quad lock keyless ignition. So you just kind of pop the key thing sideways. I got my phone positioned in a terrible place. So if I owned this motorcycle, I would not place it there. But let's see what it sounds like. Very nice. Uh, so guys, I am 5'10". I got a 32 inch inseam and wait for it. I can flat foot a Multistrada. Look at that. Short riders rejoice. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, it's a good time. Let's get this thing going. Uh, we do have a couple modes real quick before we get going. We have uh, Enduro, Urban, Touring, and Sport. I'm going to start in Urban because that's, you know, realistically the low power mode. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, also, if you guys are fans of Discord, we've got a pretty awesome Discord server full of motorcycle enthusiasts just like yourselves. If you guys want to check it out, I will have a link for you in the description. It's totally free, by the way. Don't cost a dang thing. All right, let's get going. 2023 Ducati Multistrada V2? Okay. Also, as a note, gentlemen, uh, we are coming into a situation where today, on the way to Mountain, the guys and I have seen at least 10 cops, all of them with their radars on. So I'm going to be a very good boy today, and I'm not going to get a ticket, right? Yes, correct. All righty, guys. Ducati's baby Multistrada with the 11-degree uh, Testra Strata engine. The same engine that the Desert X has, that the Super Sport, that the, the Hyper Motard. There's four other bikes that have this engine. I think it's fascinating. Ducati's getting a lot of uh, mileage out of this engine. But it's a first ride. Let's talk about the body position on this bike. The seat's really good. It's wide. It's slightly firm. But I love the seat foam right now. Like This seat is fantastic. My lower half is uh, up a little tight, I will say. But it's not uncomfortably tight. And then my top half, I'm very straight up. Arms are relaxed down. And my arms are slightly up a uh, very typical riding position this guy i feel like I, I hear a lot of wind maybe maybe i'm just losing my mind it's probably more the case so uh, yeah guys super comfortable body position i feel like i could be in this position for a very long time but i like that aggressive lower half because it makes me feel like i can really get aggressive with this bike if i want to all right that's all of our uh, urban mode <laughs> we are now going to switch 
to touring mode which uh changing the modes on this mic super easy you hold the mode button go up touring hit the mode button one more time boom that'll flash and then we're back to touring mode really cool also since we're kind of stuck at a red light you guys see that little suspension thing you can hold it down and you can choose between rider, rider bag, rider passenger, rider passenger and a bag, or exit, which is pretty neat. As you guys know, Ducati screens, this is a pretty typical screen for a Ducati, and it is fantastic. Ducati does such a good job with their screens. We'll talk more about it later on, but we don't have many opportunities where we're stopped during a first ride. So I wanted to show you guys how easy you can uh, change the suspension because... This bike has da, 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 one of my favorite suspensions, if not my number one favorite suspension, which is Ducati's Sky Hook. You guys can see some cables running to that suspension. It is an electronic suspension, hence why you can change it in the screen. And uh, we'll talk about suspension more later on, but my God, I love the suspension. Uh, it's my favorite, honestly, and you'll see why. I would tell you about how uh, this bike does in city streets, but I have another red light because I'm in the city and it sucks. But the bike doesn't. I'll tell you more at a green light. What I can tell you guys very interestingly is for the 2023 model, Ducati is only releasing the V2S. And uh, previously the S was the souped up model. You got better suspension and you got a better dash, I believe. But now this is the only model. Uh, and it comes in at a price tag of like 18 or 19 grand. It's not cheap, so this bike's gotta be good. All right, so uh, we're in the city. Let's talk about city performance on uh, the Multistrada V2S. The city performance, I think, is where this bike is going to really see a difference between it and the V4. Uh, you guys know how much I love the V4S. It is a phenomenal motorcycle. It's big, right? It has to be big. The V4 is a big old engine. But uh, this bike, you're able to get all of the fun engine characteristics out of this, uh, I think it's a 937cc V-twin. And when you're in the city, the, you're getting that benefit of the bike being very light. Now, it is a Multistrada. It has an incredible turning radius. You got the handlebar set up, and I can tell you guys, this bike is so compliant doing whatever you freaking ask it to. I love this bike. Uh, I love the way it is just super compliant, and the engine is incredibly fun to ride around town. Uh, we've been riding, we've gotten into a lot of traffic, and the level of balance I can get on this bike because of the steering up front, I just feel instantly in tune with this bike, uh, especially at slow speeds. Very confidence inspiring right from the get go. I will say uh, it is a hotter day today. We're, you know, it's summertime in Georgia. It is what it is. But the engine, which I believe is air cooled, does get a little warm. So stuff to think about. Look at this. One mile an hour, and I'm not even trying right now. Look at that, zero. I got zero clogged on the dash. <laughs> All right, I get, dang it. I, I, uh, I always get excited when I get to zero and then I lose concentration. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, so far this bike has been absolutely fantastic for city riding. The lightweight just really comes into its own when you are having to stop a lot. And uh, with the flat footing, it makes you really confident if you have to put your feet down. Because I can just put my feet down and I'm, I'm fully flat footing a motorcycle. Now, I will say, speaking of flat footing and, and uh, controlling the bike yourself, the bike does weigh, I think, 492 pounds, which is not light, but it is in the comparative uh, weight numbers of other bikes in its class. I actually just got back from Yamaha's Tracer 9 GT Plus uh, press launch. So I just spent 300 miles on a bike that's very comparative to this, uh, though it does cost a few thousand dollars less. You should not be able to whip a bike that's 500 pounds like this around as much as I can. And it also, it, it feels good doing it. Like I am, it's very compliant. I just asked this bike for anything. <laughs> oh, we're not going to jail today. We're not going to jail today. We literally told the people we're going to drive good and we're going to, we're not going to get a ticket. And then you do stupid stuff like that. I will say guys, uh, of all the bikes that this engine is placed in, which I believe I've ridden every single one of them, 
for whatever reason, this engine, I don't know if it's tuned differently for the Multistrada, but this is heads and tails better than any of the other platforms it's been in. So it's very strange. The closest one to me enjoying it as much as this one was the Desert X. I did enjoy the engine in the Desert X, but this one's even better. And I don't know that's if that's because I'm a road focused rider or if it's tuned slightly differently uh, and it's you know more my taste here. But for just running around on the street, I love this engine. And I really love the V4 and the Multi-V4. But I don't know. The, the, the lightweightness of this bike might like be that cap that it needs to, uh, to squeak it out. Speaking of which, we are coming up on the highway. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the city. Let me get this thing into sport mode because we got some fun stuff to do on the highway. I imagine it uh, might not take very long. By the way, sport mode on this bike in the city is dangerous. This bike is very happy getting ridden hard. And when you get into sport mode and you unlock the full power of the bike, bro, it will take off. Uh, when we were doing the camera car run for this first ride, I got stuck behind some traffic. So I popped it into, uh, into sport mode to get around some traffic and to catch up to the camera car. And dude, like, I, uh-uh. Like, I did not expect that out of this motorcycle. Speaking of things I didn't expect out of this motorcycle, guys, we are coming up to the 40 to 80 pole that is sponsored by our buddies over at Law Tigers. If you're looking for a motorcycle lawyer, they are the one to go with. Uh, and I, it looks like I might need one. Hopefully, I'll stop at 80, 40 to 80. Here we go, boys. On your mark. Oh, God. <laughs> Get set. Go. <laughs> oh, that's 80. <laughs> Holy snap. My God. That. <laughs> this bike feels so good. And it sounds good. I. Boy, I love me a Multistrada. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, guys. Thank you, Lost Tigers, for the 40 to 80 spot. Alrighty, guys. We're on the highway with the Multistrada V2S, which is the proving ground for this motorcycle. This is where this thing needs to be phenomenal. We are currently going 80 miles an hour in six gear. I am getting very little vibrations in my handlebars, which is surprising because it's a V-twin that we're being powered by. I am getting a few vibrations in my feet, but those rubber pegs are helping quite a bit. Now, we don't really need to talk about it, but power-wise, we are ample. We've got 117 horsepower, and I believe 93 foot-pounds of torque. I got plenty of, I don't even, what do you want to call it, passing power? And that power really starts picking up around 6,500 here on the highway. You've got no problems. Also, speaking of things that you need on the highway, we have cruise control. So it's a tap over, a tap down, cruise control is set fantastically easy to use that cruise control ducati's got it nailed there's no nothing to fix there the big question is can i rotate the throttle forward to disengage oh oh surprise i can't all right we just got to break with it okay that's a mark i don't like that i want to be able to rotate the throttle forward so shame ducati uh, the windscreen is doing a fantastic job. I've got it in the higher position so I can feel it there. If I put it in the lower position, I'm getting a lot of wind right directly on my helmet. It is very easy to uh, use. I got no problems with that. And um, other than that, guys, bike's powerful, bike's aggressive. It can do everything you want here on the highway with no freaking problem. So, guys, I'm going to finish up this highway segment, and uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to listen to some music. So, hey, Cardo, play me an awesome track to ride on the highway with a Ducati. Skyhook, what's up? 
<laughs> How does it adapt to literally everything so damn well? It makes no sense. Those, <laughs> those fork legs are just full of black magic. Oh, Ducati, I love your Skyhook suspension. Thank you so much for putting it in a Multistrada that more people can afford. My goodness, this suspension is so good. I love it. Guys, this bike is so good on the highway. I was a little worried because it's so much lighter than the V4. So you don't have as much weight to keep you planted on the highway, but it did a phenomenal job. <laughs> also, uh, I got a little ahead of myself. Sorry. You guys know I get excited on these Multistrada first rides. Uh, Cardo, thank you so much for sponsoring uh, the first ride series. If you guys want to get a Bluetooth communicator for your motorcycle, Cardos are by and far the best ones. I got a discount code for you in the description. Check it out. Uh, I love them. I love them, love them, love them. They're a sponsor, but my God. If you hadn't ridden in one yet, you don't know yet, but check it out. You'll love them. Also, a lot of you guys were asking, uh, Chase, you're going to do first rides with the Osmo Action 4? Yes, I am. Today is the first day. So far, they've been great. Alrighty, guys, let's talk about the power delivery on the uh, V2S. Very grunty and fun, but surprising amount of power higher up in the revs. It gets like a second win up at like 6,000 RPMs, which has been extraordinarily fun to ride around. Even on the highway, you can get a hit of that second win, and I love it. This is, like I said earlier, by far my favorite version of this engine or the favorite platform that they've put this engine in. I don't know if I need to continue talking about the suspension. If I'm going to be honest, the suspension is by far my favorite thing about this bike. Granted, you guys know I love my multis, but the suspension on here is my favorite. It actively and quickly adapts to every situation it goes in. Bumpy streets, hard uh, leaned over in a curve. It does literally everything, just like the cars that are trying to just not care today. <laughs> Good God. So suspension and power are important, but what about the brakes? Well, we got Brembo's up front. We also have a full suite of electronic rider aids. You are gonna have no problem uh, with the brakes here, but that's kind of Ducati's thing, right? Like this is a touring, I kind of want to call it an ADV bike, but it's really a touring bike. But this is a caps lock sport touring bike and you can tell it feels so good the more you push it, which is kind of what I look for and think of when I think of sport. And my God, Ducati knows how to put sport in a motorcycle. Oh, another thing that they've updated on this machine, if I remember correctly, is we got a quick shifter up and down and we have a different um, clutch plate stack or something like that that supposedly makes the bike shift better. Now, like I said, we've got a clutchless up and down and the shifting on this bike is fantastic. It's very easy to get into gears and then when you get into gear, it's like a hard press and then it smoothly goes into the next gear. I have really loved the feeling of shifting up and down with this bike, which is not typical. A lot of the times Ducatis, they don't like to get into neutral and sometimes the shifting isn't pinpoint. Uh, not the case here. The quick shifter works a freaking dream and uh, whatever material they're using or the different clutch material or the different plates, I'm not really sure. All I know is that shifting has been fantastic. I've had no problems getting into neutral or falling out of neutral. This ride has honestly been fantastic. What is this little guy? Hey, a little power plug. That's cool. Love to have that up here. It does not have hill hold. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's awesome. Listen to that. Alrighty guys, uh, let's talk about the switches up here. I know this is gonna be a shocker, but it's a Ducati and they're great. Uh, can we do cruise control in third? Yes, we can, of course. Now, so yeah guys, let's talk about the switches up here. Uh, we've got a lot going on, but I think it's laid out really well. You got your brights over here, your uh, hazards, your mode switch, the uh, cruise control. A very good uh, control system here. It works very well with the dash. I love that. They feel great, all the buttons. I will say with gloves on, the uh, key switch is a little hard to get to, even if you don't have your phone on your quad lock directly in front of it. So I wish that was a little easier to get to or in a better spot. It does make sense for it to be where it is. 
And then uh, the switches over on the right side, the Ducati grips are fantastic. I can't even run my finger along it, they're so grippy. Ducati's always done great with grips, that's exactly how it is here. The mirrors are fantastic, even though they're a little smaller, but they seem rigid as hell, which I appreciate. We do have both Brembo master cylinder and levers, and they are adjustable. They're black, they look great. Why would you expect anything other than that from a Ducati? Uh, like I said, the screen is kind of what we expect out of a Ducati at this point. It works fantastic. It's a 5-inch TFT, uh, totally big enough for me. I got no problems with that. We also have little auxiliary indicators here on the right and the left. And uh, we already touched on the windscreen, uh, very easy to use. It works great. I could definitely see if you could do a lot of highway with the wind hitting at the very top of my helmet. I would want to uh, get one of those windscreen kind of deflectors at the top. Uh, but overall, everything's been great. The clutch and the brake feel great. Uh, and the same thing for the pedals down there, you know, like I was saying earlier. Also, if you guys, I'll give you a close up of the dash. There's a lot of info up there, I will say that. But uh, it, is, uh, it is working well. Oh, look, a gas gauge that slowly goes down. It doesn't just drop to 50%. We love that. <laughs> no shade. None at all. Absolutely not. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to hit on with the controls-wise. Uh, I mean, the feel that you're going to get out of this bike is at that Ducati level that, you know, if you ride a lot of bikes, you kind of expect. Ducatis are top of the line button-wise. Everything that you would expect is here for sure. Uh, so right up here, guys, we're going to pull off and do a little walk around of the bike because it's a Multistrada and looks awesome. So why not? Boop. And then we go to the side. Alrighty, guys, 2023 Ducati Multistrada V2S. We've got the red, also comes in the gray. Boom. If I was gonna buy one, I think I might buy the gray, but the red is growing on me, damn you. Alrighty guys, uh, here's the look. Uh, fantastic, it is the Multistrada look. It looks like a big old pterodactyl in the front. Uh, pretty thin in the back, but look at the size of this rear passenger seat. Your passenger is going to thank you very much. Uh, we got grab handles, so it's gonna be super easy for your passenger to uh, stay stay on and stay planted and they have luggage for this i think you can buy like a traveling version which is just like a little mod and it you know it already comes with the bags on it which i think is fantastic ducati's bags are like premium so if i owned a multistrada i would definitely get bags from ducati it's also paint color match to the bike why would you not but uh yeah we got a 19 inch front tire we got a 17 inch rear uh, that is the uh, V-Twin, the 937cc Tester Straight uh, engine. Works a peach. Love it so much. I also love... I got a peace sign from the guy in the car. I love how thin the exhaust is. I don't know why. I, I have no answer for you. I don't... I, I love that. Because it's it just like blends into nothingness. I don't even notice it. And the bike also sounds good, so like no want for anything more. Other than the Acro that I know they are going to offer with it. Um, also, if you guys want to hate me, you can thank my buddy Jeff for this. If you look here on the right side, look at where it says V2S. Now, I want you to look and see the 729. You're welcome. You guys, again, do not blame me. Blame Jeff in the comments down below. Say, damn it, Jeff, for the 729. He'll know what you're talking about. It's okay. I still love it. Uh, we do not have a single-sided swing arm. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really care. And otherwise, guys, this bike is absolutely fantastic. I have had such a good time on it, and I hate Ducati for making it. I thought, being really honest with you guys, I thought I was going to come into this, and I wasn't going to like this as much as the V4, because the V4 is phenomenal. But if I'm going to be real... With that skyhook suspension, that fun of an engine, if I was going to buy a Multistrada, it might be the V2S. Damn it, Ducati. I hate you. I also love you, but I hate you. All right, guys. I'm going to grab my phone off the quad lock, and I'm going to film some uh, content for our Instagram and TikTok channels. If you guys are over on TikTok and Instagram, you guys should definitely follow us. On TikTok, we are at Chase on Two Wheels. And at Instagram, we are at C2DubPix, because the person that owns Chase on Two Wheels will not give it to me. It's good times. All right, guys. I'm going to film some stuff, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, my friends, uh, we are back from the vertical stuff. Uh, that's the walk around, guys. Love this freaking motorcycle. Pissed off that it's here. Pissed off that it's a thing. But I'm appreciative that I get to ride it. All right. 
Um, we're going to get back on the bike because we got questions to answer. Would I purchase or pass on this? What is the steering stem lock test and who should buy this motorcycle other than me? If anybody, this public service announcement, if anybody out there has 20 grand that they don't need and would like to invest in my happiness, I will invest your money into this motorcycle that I ride. You're welcome. All right, steering stem lock test on the Multistrada. We got high expectations. Going into first, steering stem lock, my God. Ah. Easy top five, and for such a big bike, my God, <laughs> so good. Alrighty, guys. Let's talk about if it's a purchaser pass and who should get it. All right, guys, so uh, purchaser pass on Ducati's V2S, the amazing sport tour that put caps lock on the sport part. Uh, if it's a purchaser pass for me right now, guys, I honestly think I prefer this bike over the Multistrada V4. The lighter weight package, and I get plenty of power. I've been telling you guys for a while now, the 700cc to 900cc engine range for an experienced rider, I'm starting to think is the sweet spot. I, I would not need more power than this bike has. So anything over this, and I'm just adding weight, and this bike honestly gives me everything that I would want out of the V4, and I get the Skyhook suspension. I would personally choose this bike over the V4 and some of its other competitors, I would choose this bike because it's hard to explain this on a, on a route like we're taking today, but when you're riding this bike around, you can tell how sport oriented it is. It's, it's a sport touring bike, right? But it is a sport bike that can do incredible at touring instead of a touring bike that's a little sporty. I don't know if that makes sense, but if it does, you know what I'm talking about. And for a rider like me that I really enjoy road performance, but I want that comfort of being able to do a really long ride, this bike has is got it and it's nailed it. And that is also where that lightweight comes in with the sporty riding. I, Ducati has made a gem in the V2S and, uh, it, this is such a phenomenal middleweight touring bike. I absolutely love it. Who should buy this motorcycle? Uh, one, this bike is more expensive than other bikes in its class. I feel like it's better than those bikes, so you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, but it is a little more expensive, and the owner of the, the bike like this needs to be a more sport-oriented person. If you're interested in touring and just having the most comfortable ride, then there are cheaper bikes that do that well. It's If you're going to pay that extra money, I do feel like you need to be looking for a sport touring bike that you want to do sporty riding in. Because right now, I don't think anybody does it better than Ducati with their V2S. Uh, guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. This has been a first ride. Shout out to Mountain Motorsports who let us borrow this bike. If you guys want to see where the bike came from and check out all our inventory, we will have a link in the description for you. And uh, if you got to the end of the video, you're in the outro crew. So put OC in your comment because I know you're going to leave a comment. It helps the channel out. And uh, let me know, based on this first ride, I'll leave the V4 first ride here at the end. Let me know which of these you guys would pick in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for getting to the end of the video. It, uh, it's super awesome. I appreciate the support. You guys go out there and ride safe. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. I'll see you on the next one.